I'm just going to do a quick overview of a multimeter that TacLife were kind enough to send me. Uh, this is their DM07 model. Uh, I needed a new one because my old one was falling to bits, and this has a, a few extra features which I'll go over. It's nothing too professional, so to say, uh, but a nice upgrade anyway. So in the box you have the obvious things, a user manual, uh, the probes, the unit itself. It's quite big, uh, but not unwieldy. Uh, it has this kickstand, which is nice, four AA batteries included, a temperature probe, and a screwdriver, uh, which is provided just so you can unscrew the battery cover, apparently. So there it is working, uh, and the first thing I'll say is the LCD screen is nice and big. Um, you'll see it from a distance easily enough, uh, and it has a backlight. I'll just test it first on this uh, lithium ion battery. Um, one of the features I wanted on this was auto ranging. So uh, you just set it on, say, you know, volts, and then you don't have to worry about the range. So the display is nice, um, but as is typical with cheap LCDs, they don't stand up well to acute viewing angles. Um, this one's okay until you turn on the backlight, and then it's really not great, as you can see. Uh, you really do need to be looking at it straight on. Now, the other thing worth pointing out is that the backlight also turns on this flashlight uh, on the back of the unit, uh, so that's kind of cute, uh, but there's no way to have the one operating without the other. Uh, here's resistance being measured, uh, something close to zero to begin with, and uh, this is about one ohm between my battery ground and the alternator case, and then um, between my two fingers, here's something in the mega ohms. Uh, see how that auto ranging is useful. Uh, it displays the units down the bottom. It also does a continuity beep test for resistance, uh, but for some reason that mode is on the diode setting. Uh, you select between it and the diode voltage um, by pressing the select button. Uh, anyway, it does work well. And then, yeah, uh, you can test a diode by measuring its voltage drop. Uh, using that same dial mode, um, but changing it by pressing the select button. So then you get a dial symbol up the top and the units change to a volts. And here you can see I get uh, zero in the one direction um, and about 1.8 volts drop in the other direction uh, on this LED um, surface mount chip uh, with enough current to light the chip up dimly. The other little feature this thing has is a thermometer built into it. Um, it has a temperature probe included, uh, which you plug in just like the uh, voltage probes, and then switch it on to temp mode. Uh, the probe is quite small and uh, on a flexible wire, so you could put it all sorts of places. Um, the other thing I noticed is that it responds quite quickly to changes in temperature, uh, which is good. Uh, you can switch between Celsius and Fahrenheit, uh, so that's definitely a useful extra for car work from time to time. And finally, it has a non-contact voltage sensor. Now, this isn't helpful on cars or DC circuits, but it picks up AC voltage um, around the house. So you just point the sensor in the general area of what you want to measure, and it will light up its LEDs and beep if there's live mains in the vicinity. It can also measure capacitors, uh, current frequency, and um, current amperage, of course, uh, which I didn't bother showing you. Uh, it can't do the more fancy professional things, um, like a high-low measurement. Uh, that would be nice, but that tends to only be found on much more expensive units. Uh, but if you just want an affordable digital multimeter, it definitely does the job. I'll put links below. Have fun.